cycles, right? We, we have cycles. You guys feel free to um, ask chat uh, questions in the chat. We are going by the uh, curriculum in uh, FOT. So we're starting at FOT01, the cycles, um, you know, any anytime we have an accumulation or distribution and we are looking at um, where to start finding these kind of uh, breakout points, you, you simply see one right here, right? Like this is your trend to trend. Um, you simply see the breakout, the first breakout point there, this starts a cycle here, you have the next breakout point here, that starts the next part of the cycle, uh, and then, you know, and then, so, so you have this here, and that's, that starts the next part of the cycle, and, and, and so the move continues, um, you know, therefore, then you're, you're probably in, in a much larger trend range right now, so we don't really need to uh, draw this one, that's fine, you pick that up, but, but simply put, you know, this is all a part of a cycle, right, like this is all, um, Part of a cycle that is is breaking throughout this uh, throughout this move, right? So you you can see one, two, three, it goes up. Um, yeah, I think cycles pretty pretty basic level knowledge. So I don't I don't think we're gonna have to spend too much time here. But this is really how you you're gonna see. I, I guess the key thing about cycles is where you see distribution stopping, right? Like uh, you have something like this, so you, you'd have a trend like this, right? Your next trend would be something to the sort of this, which we can just kind of shortcut this one and uh, just assume that the next point is here. Just, just purely just shortcutting it, right? Just um, completely shortcutting it. So you'd have the first part of the cycle there, the breaks accumulation. You'd have the next part right here, the breaks accumulation, which actually goes ends up being right here. Um, and then, and then you'd have the next part of uh, the cycle, which ends up being here and then uh, right here and, and so forth. Right. So, so, so th this is quite simply just to uh, see accumulation distribution. And then on the other side, um, you know, you, you do have the same thing, right? Like you have this one, oops. Oh, let's draw the next one first. You have that one. You have this number two, right? Same same thing. Cycle cycle a cycle of distribution where it's uh, trying to break its move, right? And uh, seeing what it can and can't hold. So then you have uh, this as number three right here. Um, so, so you know cycles accumulation distribution and it really gives you your trends and uh, it is a nice way to see exactly how to. Um, account for when something is expected to, to, to break up or break down, right? So um, looking at any one of these, you know, we can go here, um, trying to stop distribution, right? It does break through it and uh, holds its level from, from back here, right? So, so that's fine, hold its level from back there. Um, let's just continue forward. And uh, in this moment here, this would have simply been right here, right? So this would have been right here. So, so um, as you are in this move and, and you are breaking these trends, right? You're creating those kind of next points. So you do have that first point there. It creates your next point here on a different time frame, right? Right here on a, on a more selective time frame, and then so you can see uh, where distribution happens, right? And then uh, you create your next cycle, and then and then when you break this, you're uh, likely going into another pullback against you know some kind of uh, hold range, right? And then so it happens right there. Um, you do have your hold back against this range right here, right? Like you do have pull back against this range. So, so quite simply, just very nice um, cycles are are, are quick, right? <clears throat> Horizontal axis and time, FOT two. So. Um, if there's no questions, I, I'll just continue going on. Unless you guys have questions, you just put them in the chat box and uh, I'll just stop and, and answer them as we go. So horizontal axis in, in time, that's, that's an interesting one because this is un unlike cycles where cycles are very static in nature, right? They have very static trends. Um, your axis and, and, and time, well, horizontal and vertical axis, right? That up and down motion. Th this is something that's very dynamic. It's It's not... It's a factor that we use in trading in the moment. It is not something that we are saying, okay, we have the static level. Like this, this would have been a static moment, right? Like we, we take this back here. This is a static moment, okay? So, so this is very much um, FOT 101, static moments that have uh, very specific reaction points, right? As, as they get more advanced, we call them data points uh, in, in, in a much deeper way um, in butterfly effect. But for, for future of trading, it's like, okay, we have these static events and, um, moments of, of horizontal and vertical axes controls these, right? So you, so you can see uh, in this moment here, you know, you would have had a hold level trying to hold this move up right here, right? Which gets hit there. So, so, so then once that gets hit and it's a tested level, you know, your, your range is pretty much broken here. So um, again, a little bit of outside of the context of uh, FOT, but, but really um, this event, like a uh, horizontal time, we're just going to refer to it as time because it's really what the horizontal and uh, vertical axis is and time. Time, time is, is a static event as to our time. Uh, I don't know if we can actually go to the one minute candle there. Let's take a look. Set this back to auto. I'm assuming my whole replayer broke now. Okay. 
quite possible, yes. It's uh, the whole replayer broke, yes. Okay, let's try this again. Back to this moment here, right? Or even that moment down there. Uh, we'll start with the 15, there it is. Right, the, uh, the first spot where this kind of breaks and uh, hard closes. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the hard closes too in, uh, as we go through this. Um, I, I don't think we're going to be able to quite get to the one minute candles. Maybe the five, I think there's not enough information. The five is good. What about the three? Can we get to the three? Yes, we just can't get to the one, I don't think. Oh, we can. We can get to the one. Okay, perfect. Um, just, just trading view being trading view. Nice, nice and lovely. Um, th 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 this is a point where you have a very specific trend, a static moment. And um, when, when we look at the effect of time, and, and the uh, horizontal and vertical axes, right? Like the vertical axis uh, moving up and down is simply price. Right? The horizontal axis is something that is dynamic in the moment because as you are watching this move, you are sitting here, oh, it's too far away, actually too far. Okay, let's get there again. That's incredible, that that's actually too far, okay. Um, so we have to go right here. So, so we're actually just like, uh, oops, 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 no. We're actually right here, and this is all we can see. So, so this is, again, just, just trying to go over this again here. This is a dynamic moment. It's not static like the actual levels that we draw, like the actual trends that we draw. This is something that in the moment, there's going to be a reaction. So, so you do have kind of a, a one-minute candle dump that loses a level, right? So when you actually look at what this does, it likely attacks its next range, right? So what do you talk about here? Full percent to, oh, wow, three and a half percent. And uh, this is over the course of from 656 to 730. So there, there's actually three and a half percent off of this level. So this is a very dynamic um, moving piece of the chart, right? Like that, that's actually insane. That's 300% in 30 minutes. That's actually crazy. Um, this, this was a level that was pretty uh, important, obviously, in the moment. It was the first trend to break this thing down to start to stabilize, right? So in this moment, you do have more of a, a dynamic reaction as to where this has two things, right? Um, in, in the further information, we call this polarization. Like in butterfly effect, this is called polarization. Now, polarization is a very broad term that takes probably 40 lessons on its own to, to, to learn. So, so polarization we're not getting into, but this is very much a polarized moment where it's kind of up or down. So you can think of the effect of time is, is happening in the moment. So if you guys are trading this and you see this trend, you have to be aware of what the potential effect of that time is. So, so in this one minute candle here, um, I would actually wonder how much is it was seven, a full 7% in one minute candle, a full 1.3% in a one minute candle. That's insane. So a one minute candle, 120, 130%. That's actually crazy. Um, and, and simply just probably pulls back off of this inverse right here, right? Okay, it hits that and does, doesn't, it, yeah, pulls back off that, doesn't even reach it. So and the effect of time here is, is quite simply that it's a dynamic event that's happening in the moment against the static level, right? So that's, that's kind of the takeaway from time is that it's a very dynamic moment so so if you're trading this and you're in this, this moment and we're just going to move the chart to here because we uh, we can't see this um we have to be aware that you're, you're looking at your timestamp here it's like okay, okay it's 656 right 657 658 659 seven o'clock so 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 this is like the perfect example of, of an in, in the moment the effect of time time is a static factor in our charts Whenever we look at anything, we are, you know, we can even pull back to here. I would look at this and I would say, okay, it's 5.30. What does that mean? That means we're 24 minutes away from the um, next close, right? So, so, so we're 24 minutes away from the hourly close, which is a four-hour candle. So what is a four-hour candle showing me here, right? Like what, is, what is an actual four-hour candle showing me in this moment? Uh, let's try to go and find where that trend is. What is an actual four-hour candle showing me prior to this dump, right? Four-hour candle here at three to seven o'clock in the morning, it's showing me that it's testing its range in, in, in here. Like it's testing whatever hold ranges is in here, right? Like this is very important information to know, right? Seven o'clock in the morning, five, six, seven o'clock, like the six to seven o'clock phase here, this one minute candle completely dumps the entire piece of that chart, which also opens up a, a new four hour candle, right? Like you have that seven o'clock time frame here. Um, so, so, so in this, in this moment, it's, it's kind of silly because, um, oops. I'm just misclicking all over the place today. Let's get back to here. In this moment, this one minute candle uh, actually breaks the entirety of this chart and, and kind of makes sense as to why uh, this actually does have this moment, this one minute moment at seven o'clock in the morning, opening a new four hour candle. It, it makes sense why in this one, and this probably happened in a, you know, a matter of 10 seconds. And actually two candles, 
almost 2%. Three minutes, you're at 3%. So, so 3% move in three minutes at the opening of a four-hour candle, right? So, so kind of the static effect of time, or uh, sorry, the dynamic effect of time against that clocks, right? So I think that's really important when you think of horizontal axes and uh, the vertical and horizontal axis and time and how it affects a chart is to be cognitively aware that there is this effect on the actual clock, right? Like you, you, you actually, when I'm looking at levels, I'm actually checking the timestamp. Um, it's, it's really funny because it's nothing technically related, but it, it has an effect on the actual chart. So every, every time something's happening, I'm always looking at the timestamps and I'm saying, oh, well, it looks like we're about to down. Oh, we're two minutes away from a new four-hour candle. Oh, this would actually set up a hard close on that next four-hour candle. Oh, so in the next two minutes, we could potentially dump, right? So then I have a, a very clear indication of what's happening in the moment. So the effect of time is one that's very um, thematic, right? You have to make sense of why it exists and what it could potentially do. It's, it's not one of these static levels. It just has a, a very reactionary means, right? Hey everyone, how's it going? As you know, I'm now giving out some of this content uh, for free that I was otherwise charging for for the past little while. Um, yeah, drop a donation, subscribe to the channel, uh, join Patreon, you'll get access to Discord. Great way, lots of top level traders in there, people who are doing this for a career every single day. So go to Patreon, join us here, get access to Discord. Um, Go on Reddit, talk about future of trading, talk about the science of trading, talk about cotton candy, um, socials, everything you can. Let's help this thing grow. Uh, it's, it's the way you guys can thank me for giving out this content for free that I was otherwise charging money for. So um, I'll leave a Bitcoin address on the screen. Uh, I'll leave the patron address on the screen. Um, just do something to help out. Okay, thanks guys. Take care.